This is fun. Uh, so we did a video last week complaining about the gas prices saying, hey, maybe they're putting something in it to make more profit. And then I saw a TikTok where someone was saying the same thing. And in the comments on that TikTok, a few guys were saying they tested it. They saw the ethanol was as high as 49%. So I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's got to be a way to figure this out. And I found these uh, cheap little gas test kits on Amazon. These were 10 bucks, 12 bucks each. And it's actually just a plastic bottle with lines on it. So whatever. And then I went to each of the popular gas stations. So we have six of these. And these have been sitting in my car for a day. I'm assuming that uh, ethanol does not evaporate, though, unless it's an open container. Uh, so I have two concerns. One, is this the gas that I put in my car two weeks ago that was horrible, that I went through very quickly? Maybe, maybe not. The second concern, is this an accurate test? Is this actually going to work and tell us how much ethanol is in it? Either way, I figured it was worth the shot. You know, these containers weren't too expensive, you know, two gallons of gas in each one. I'm out $200, but if we figure something out here, uh, maybe I'll save money in the long run. And this is all regular gas. You know, I don't think they would do that with super or ultra because if people are trying to save money, they're going to get the cheapest gas and then, you know, big oil is going to have to dilute the cheapest gas. So the way this works is uh, we fill this with water to here and then we fill the rest with gas and then we shake it up and it's going to sit for five minutes and then uh, the ethanol should separate with the water in it and it's going to tell us what the ethanol percentage is. So I'm going to do that with each of these without trying to make too much of a mess. Now what's weird about this gas is I had this in my car and it didn't really smell as potent as regular gas. I don't know if my sense of smell is off. I'm getting this gas on my hands but it's not like it's not that bad to smell. It's not that bad. There's, it's fucking windy. I got fucking gas all over the place. You guys better fucking like this video, subscribe, share it, fucking buy all the meat off Frankie Strange meat. I'm losing my fucking mind. This is fucking ridiculous. Holy buzz! You smell that corn? Mmm, <clears throat> reminds me of that grade A Angus prime beef. Oh boy. <laughs> For those of you guys that are wondering what I'm on about, ethanol is made from corn. Ethanol is alcohol. Okay, so you guys can see on the side here, the gas and the water is kind of separated. Like the gas is on top and the water is on the bottom uh, because we didn't shake these yet. Uh, this last one that we just did, it's more obvious with the separation. The other ones are slowly starting to combine. So we're going to shake these and then wait five minutes. I'm pretty sure ethanol does not evaporate over the course of one day in a sealed container. So I don't really think I should like go down to the gas station and get a fresh batch of regular gas. Maybe I should try to get super or ultra. I only have one uh, extra canister to, to test something else. So I'm kind of debating on what I should do. Um, it, it looks like this test is going to tell us that. Yeah, there is something that's not gasoline in here. And it's a decent percentage, but it's not as crazy high as I thought it was. So we went down to the corner, got some premium gasoline. Main difference is it just looks a lot clearer uh, than the regular gasoline. And you know, th this test didn't really show us anything. This is just regular E10 gas that you get at the gas station. That's pretty typical everywhere in America. So you know, if we look at the separation, it's about 10%. So there's roughly 10% ethanol in gas from each of these regular gas stations. I would say some of these might be a little bit higher than that, but you know it's nothing crazy like uh, we're seeing with the reduced fuel uh, mileage percentage. Now that doesn't really make much sense considering the reduced fuel mileage everyone has been experiencing over these past few weeks. Yeah, I guess it would have been a little too simple if people could just pour the gas in a test tube and see the water separation and then say, oh, they're putting something in the gas. So I'm pretty sure there's something oil-based in this gasoline that is obviously not gasoline. That's reducing the fuel mileage. This does not smell like gasoline used to smell um, whenever I got it on my hands or whenever I smelled it. It's not nearly as pungent. So uh, there's probably some type of test I don't know about that, that can kind of analyze the oil content, but... I'm assuming that they're regulating those tests and making sure the average person doesn't find that out. So all I have to say is uh, it's 
it's not going to be that easy to to prove these guys wrong. You're going to have to send this into a lab, and any sort of laboratory is going to be affiliated with them because you know they're sending their gas samples to a lab to test them, and you're not going to have access to those laboratories. So I guess this was worth a shot, you know. But we didn't really figure anything out besides that they're putting something in it that we can't test uh, with like regular easy methods like this. So hey, thank you guys for joining me. I guess it was worth a shot, right? So if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. You guys can go to frankdestefano.com to support me through all of my businesses. I got a little bit of cleaning up to do, but I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you.